Why is it that when you are a black person and you want to get access to quality services or products meant for you, good for you, comfortable, it's going to be that expensive? Good morning! <laughs> Still week 32 and that's the only place I could put you people. So I'm trying to do um, a little bit of refreshing um, and I have some two or three um, things I was thinking about like being black I just watched a documentary where um, they say <laughs> anyways I'm, I'm doing my hair and I was thinking oh it's crazy how toxic um, black hair products are it's crazy how expensive the product for black people are like I'm my 32nd week yeah, you really know and I'm thinking I was thinking of um, doing a maternity photoshop and because there are not a lot of um, photographers specialized in black um, black photography like I, I know one of my uni mates who started just like a play, like hobby and he does very nice picture and I said why not support him and I wrote him and the boy said for uh, three picture I will pay 285 euros you're in Germany yeah. and I have to drive that's my problem like I don't live in the same city like him but for three pictures professional picture 285 euros I still have to do the driving I have to do my makeup I have to do I have to buy my clothes everything um, the whole thing was going to be around 400 euros like plus gas and I was just like why is it that when you are a black person and you want to get access to quality services or products meant for you good for you comfortable it's going to be that expensive and it was I was just like thinking oh, I just love having this hydration in the morning what it just everything so I decided I'm not going to do it um, although I wanted to support him but I don't know it's I don't know what people think it, it triggers me right so I don't know I feel like once you are good in like once you set your target um, clientele or uh, customers to be being black people and you are good in it, you can write whatever price you want. I, but black people are not are not the <laughs> the most. Um, how do I say that? Most of black people are low income. It's just the fact. But if you see proportionally to what they are. Like no, no, like being. Being tied up on everything. If you have to outsource it, like let somebody else do it, like everywhere in the world, especially if you are living in a, a white country, it's, it's a budget. It's, it's a budget. Like I have to, I have to, I feel like I, I, I could use some. Some interlocking or somebody going on my hair or whatever, but it's going to be like at least one way euros. And if I have to do that each month, if I have to buy a special shampoo, blah blah blah, and all the natural good products you want, I, I, that's a budget. I'm not. I'm not being cheap, people. I'm not being cheap. Don't get me wrong. So it just triggers me how 
toxic our products are and how America um, dependent here in Germany those products like country is something you can buy in Germany for sure but it comes from America and it's not everywhere and they can put whatever price that they will put on it you will buy it because there is not that much of a competition on those products and uh, that saddens me so um that was it and the other thing was like i was thinking how privileged i am because i have locks <laughs> it's it's their low maintenance really that compared to doing curl rolls rasta um or braids or human week when human week i can still do it on my own actually i can even do crochet braids but there's nothing like wearing your hair <laughs> your natural hair people say i go i go natural but you return natural okay it's a return capillary return okay so that's a privilege the other privilege i just felt this morning is um people might say i am a late mom but i feel so privileged because um pregnancy is no joke right it's fun it's marvelous it's it's something it's powerful that's the word but um let me take it because i'm not going to do anything it's powerful isn't it but the fact that I am a little bit of a late mom, which I don't like that word, please find another word for me, help me with another word. I felt like um, I can profit for a lot of <laughs> tips from my mom. Like I just called her. Uh, sometimes when I'm going through things, I don't really know is it something to uh, keep for my OB or call my OB or my midwife. And we are just like, hmm, this has been happening. <laughs> my husband now says, ask your mom. <laughs> You just give her a call before you are. She let you. She let you explain and say, "Oh, it's just that. It's just that. It's just that." And you apply it like I have a like we say. I have. I have. I'm like I feel privileged because she had the time to to help people and accompany a lot of women through their own pregnancies. And I'm just enjoying from those tips. Like in one minute, you are done. Okay, the only thing she couldn't help me with it's being tired. I was like, it's normal, your body doesn't <laughs> I want to find a solution to my tiredness and to my low energy levels and whatever. I want to be that jumping, but it seems as if it's not going to function. So my mom just says that one is normal. So do what you can do, sit down, have a rest. And when you feel better, stand up, continue. I was not really happy that she couldn't help me with that one. It's like I gave up and I would just say, I just said, okay. After all, I'm not a single mom, isn't it? So I don't have to um, carry the whole load by myself. I let him do it and I tell him to do it. And he does it, so I'm not a single mom. <laughs> Yeah, Dominique, <laughs> you are very smart. <laughs> After eight months of pregnancy, you come to realize that you are not a single mom that you can. <laughs> so the back pain is another level, people. Anyways, I'm just, I'm tired, and I oh my hair. Locks are wonderful people. I feel so pretty this morning. <laughs> I don't know why. By the way, I'm in the bathroom view renovated. If you want to see uh, the whole work, I will put it here. So, blessing all my TTC sister hanging there. Useless, toxic product, even if it is said it are black products, but they do affect our fertility and I didn't I didn't know that but um, a lot of us we buy those products and 1100 of them were, were analyzed there's a lot of toxin in there so watch out for that <laughs> hang in there your 
big fat positive is on the way baby dust stay curious have great with yourself and see you when i see you bye